This demonstration we're going to look at configuring software metering rules. The purpose of a software metering rule is to allow us to analyze when users are starting and stopping software. The advantage of this is if we spent a lot of money on software, we want to make sure that people are actually using the software. Also what we could do as well is we could use this software metering functionality to enable us to manage our licenses better. So if a lot of people are using the software, we buy more licenses. If not many people are using the software, then we'll actually cut back on the licenses. So the first thing we need to do is we need to configure the software metering client agent. And to do that, we've come into the administration workspace, we've come to client settings, and we'll just have a look at the default client settings. Within here, we'll come to software metering. And within software metering, we've enabled software metering on the clients. Yes, if we have a look at the schedule, we can specify exactly when we're going to schedule the data collection. So even though the users are running the software, we still have to collect that data from the clients. And we're going to do that every seven days. However, we can do it manually via the Config Manager client. So we'll select OK. And we'll select OK. Next thing we need to do is we need to start creating some rules. And in order to do that, we come into Assets and Compliance. And within Assets and Compliance, we come to Software Metering. Uh, what we need to do at this point here, as you can see, we already have some rules in place. We're going to create our own though, so we'll right click and we'll create a software metering rule. That'll bring us into wizard, so we just need to fill this wizard out. So I'm going to call this wordpad rule. I've specified wordpad.exe being the file that I actually want to create the rule against. It's now actually filled in a lot of this information automatically for me. First thing I'm going to do here in the case of the version is I'm just going to modify the version. I'm going to modify the version by saying Montre star. And then what we'll do for the language is we'll just monitor any language. So we'll have that in place there. Won't bother with the description. And apply this software metering rule to the following clients. So we'll do it to clients assigned to the following site. And that site will be S01. We'll then select next. Have a quick read through the summary. Select next. Select close. Now one of the other things we can do as well, if we right click on software metering, we have some software metering properties. And within the software metering properties, so what we can do here on the general page, as it says here, recent usage inventory settings, specify the amount of time that software metering data is retained. I'll leave it as the 90 days. Automatically create disabled metering rules for recent usage data. So what we can see here, specify the percentage of computers in the hierarchy, the most user program before the software metering rule is automatically created. Let's just drop that to 5% and specify the number of software metering rules that must be exceeded in the hierarchy before the automatic creation rule is deleted or disabled. I'll set that to 30. So what we're seeing here is we can automatically create these software metering rules as well. So we'll select OK at this point. And now we've created these rules, we want to monitor these rules. So if I just come down to my monitoring workspace, Within my monitoring workspace, I have my reports. And within my reports, what we look for here is we'll just look for the software metering folder. And within the software metering folder, as you can see, we do actually have a number of reports that we can then run. So I've just created the rule. Nobody's run WordPad yet, but for example, what we could do is we could right click on users that run a specific metered software program and select run. That'll then start running the report. And then what we do at this point here is we'd specify, for example, the rule name. So if we just went for a WordPad rule and select OK, I'm going to be able to tell straight away that nobody's run the software because there's no entries in the case of the month and there's no entries in the case of the year. But if somebody had been running that software, we could then have a look and see exactly who'd been running the software. That's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.